Alliance War Compensation. Is it good? What's going on with it? We're going to deep dive it. $8,000 in unit compensation packages for Marvel Realm of Champions. Again, we're going to talk about that because there's more Realm of Champions based compensation. You know, people aren't getting it. What's going on with it? We're going to look at that. Alliance Wars tier issue. People are going into the wrong tier for some reason. A new content announcement today. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions news show for Friday. Now normally I break out the Deadpool, but we've got to get into the news as quickly as possible because there's a lot to go over and uh, everything's time coded so you can click to the relevant stories you want to see, but it's all spicy and it's all interesting, so keep locked to the channel. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe with post notifications on all because it's going to be a very interesting day with new content announcements that are going to be hitting your inboxes, so make sure to come back to the channel. We've got uh, Twitter, social media is going to be hitting up with lots of stuff, so keep locked to it. And a massive thank you to those that support the channel as a Patreon and as a YouTube member. You're on screen right now. Appreciate you so much for the support. Also, those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. I'm currently away at the moment and I will be back next week to kind of do a full week of live streaming. It's just unfortunately a lot of stuff has happened and I've had to make some uh, some journeys. So uh, there may be a recording of a news type video from a from a hotel. I don't know. Busy times, but I will be back live streaming as of next week. And what is dropping today, and the important thing to mention, is that we have got champion reveals for Captain Britain Betsy Braddock and Omega Sentinel. I'm glad that they have decided to call it Captain Britain Betsy Braddock, especially because it skips away, and I should like formulate a point a bit more in a future video about how I'd like to see more about uh, Avalon and how the, uh, the comic book history kind of ties in with Captain Britain rather than the kind of swapping of the mantle stuff. And it's still a good story of Betsy Braddock, I'm not dismissing that, but I just kind of feel like I'm like... Oh, well, I'm, I like I wanted to see a bit of Brian Braddock a little bit before seeing a handing off of the mantle within the game to uh, the likes of Betsy Braddock, the same way we've had Cap Infinity War and, you know, uh, Cap Wilson, which, uh, you know, it's, it's, everything's fine with that. It's just a case of I like a little bit of build up and story rather than just going with, oh, the mantle's been handed over. Ah, oh, shucks. Also, a Mega Sentinel is going to be later on today as well. And let's move on to talk about Wrong Alliance War Tier. Now, I was approached by several people on this in particular when it comes to, like, you know, they start off like, right, well, we should be in a different tier. We've started off this season in a different tier. What's that all about? Definitely got, like, uh, some video footage of this happening where, you know, it says, like, maybe one, one tier in one place, but then kind of, like, incorrectly in another, like, there, like, Tier war, tier, tier 3. Um, and then um, in elsewhere... Uh, scrolling down here like tier four so it's like it it's not exactly clear and i'm sure there's going to be people that are going to be like actually rich i'll find you it's like it's fine it's like this but there are some things that are going on that aren't too correct and in particular when kabam have to come in to kind of like uh, say what's going on and a support ticket needs to be done so let's kind of have a look at this Right, so one player here said, My alliance finished last war season in tier two. Uh, we're in tier three to start this season. This is wrong, okay? And I'm sure, again, people would want to say, like, Oh, no, Rich, I think you're fine. It's actually this way. And uh, and then, you know, we come to uh, many people were like saying about this and Kaban Mike saying that it's impossible for us to know exactly something went wrong without all the details of your alliance and placement. Our support team is much better equipped to handle this and I encourage one person from your alliance to reach out to them. You can do this, blah, 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 blah. So what is going on here? Well, um, Sadat, who the, I think Sadat started off this um, thread, said we did submit a ticket and the reply we've got uh, is they think it's a device issue. How is this device? How is this device issue when the whole lights are seeing the same? We all don't have the same device. So it's just really understanding what what's kind of going on with it. I'm um, just remember back in the day when I used to play Alliance Wars, whether there was something like we end one season in one tier, like a I don't know, like a lower tier, and then it's a case of like, well, a after like the first fight, it just kind of rejiggles back to where it should be. In any case, I'll watch this kind of thread as it kind of like transpires and, and, and stuff like that. But it's very interesting to see like video evidence from uh, Mizoa and as well like a, an open thread on this. So it may be a case that it's an alliance based issue. Maybe it's, I, I don't, I really don't know what Kabam kind of meaning when it comes to like device issue, as you know, uh, so that says many people in the alliance playing different devices. So I'll watch this, watch this space. Nothing really to deep dive too much onto this uh, until you know kabam kind of properly answer and deal with it and on our next topic it's all about compensation compensation is something that uh, seems to be a bit of a hot topic uh, whenever it's kind of like mentioned about it 
I, I don't, people might say, say like, oh, you must enjoy putting compensation into video titles. Not particularly. I'd rather have a fully functioning running game as it just means that, you know, it's everyone gets to enjoy a game running smoothly. Unfortunately, that is not the, uh, that is not the case. And there's been like a few kind of like doubts as to what the Alliance Wars correction or the compensation is all about. As I said, due to unforeseen, uh, unforeseen issues, the last Alliance Wars season did not function correctly on all devices. We apologize for any convenience. Uh, we have attached items based on your Alliance rank at the end of the season. So this is what uh, uh, Marius Rex sent. And it shows 11.25k uh, of tier 5 uh, basic fragments, 2006 star shards, and a 10% tier 5 class catalyst crystal. Not too bad uh, as a little bit of an added extra, but it, I don't know if this really is all about the... I don't think this is the war for loss that players experience. Maybe there's something that takes the war for loss and also the other compensation we were meant to get and combines it. Not 100% sure on that, and that's definitely something that a lot of players have questions. So that's definitely something that's got to be looked into a bit further. Is this accumulating both types of compensation? Is this all the compensation you're going to get? The follow-on from that is that uh, some players have said right here, just receive the compensation bundle. What do you think? Fair enough. Uh, you could get have done without uh, without bugs. Share your thoughts. And many people saying like uh, they think it's a joke. Uh, some saying it's fair. I gotta be honest. It's yeah, as I said, it's free stuff. Um, that's that's basically it to really treat it. I, I think with with it's lucky nowadays if something goes wrong with the game and you get compensation from Kabam. The the kind of way I could look at it is like if you if you think you're going to be disappointed, then it's just it's not it's just not worth kind of like putting in your brain as a thing to kind of worry about in life. Um, some players are here saying I think it's lame that at some point in the past week my alliances dropped from tier 2 to tier 3 and I'm assuming that means we got lower compensation correct me if I'm wrong so that's another thing as well like if there was and that's a fair point if you are kind of war if you're in a war and as a result of something that Kabam did it dropped you uh, into a different tier or no would it be like a placement if you were like expecting to reach like platinum three and then you're put into gold one as a result of like issues that went then that's kind of sucky because then you wouldn't get like at a certain point the compensation you were meant to get so i do i do see that point from players um on that if that is indeed the case um what else i think it's just really i think a lot of people got the same especially from what like gold one there i don't know if anybody's got anything higher and let's have a look right here so the players players saying my other account seems to have received broken compensation the shards are there but the crystals are not there others have claimed them and said there's no crystals in their inventory so that's an interesting point there and Kabam said this was a bug and the second me message with any broken items should follow this message so there's going to be additional compensation for uh, it's going to be a compensation bug so you should be able to get something um extra from that and that's really it. There's been a few kind of like, um, some didn't like the compensation. Yeah, I'm sure people will form and get something good from it. And there's a few, um, yeah, there's a, there's a few kind of like stuff there with it. So yeah, it is what it is. So someone said that it's a nice surprise. I have forgotten about this. Just happy to finish um, side quest today and just in time for the level up event. So nice to have a break from the game. So yeah, there we go. Um, that's that's that war compensation there should be another message coming in the future to kind of like sort out the broken compensation so look out for that and now we've got a bit of a deep dive into uh, realm compensation now so realm compensation is something that uh, you know if you see i put out a video on this on wednesday night uh, uk time and it does go over the extent of what i got this is an infographic to kind of showcase on screen what uh, i'll just put it in frame all the lovely things you got from the top end of compensation. As long as you know, you needed to play 500 fights. We will be deep diving stuff where what went wrong with it, what went right, the $8,000. So to make sure to kind of keep locked to this segment because it's there's a lot to deep dive in this uh, particular moment. So yeah, this is the compensation that you got. 30 energy refills. I'm going to have to... I'm, I mean, for me, this is like properly ready for Act 7.4, which which would drops, I think, to the latter point of March. So I'm looking, really looking forward to kind of like uh, working towards that. And in, and in any case, like working towards kind of um, uh, the 100% 7.3, trying to get my first ever rank for uh, six star, which, you know, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting Act 7 done. That's my priority. And I'm going to restructure my kind of my goals and my targets 
because I really want to make a big kind of inroad to get a lot done. But in any case, this compensation is mega. Obviously, you needed to suffer Marvel Realm of Champions. And for people to went, oh, no, Marvel Realm of Champions is terrible. Well, you know, I'm kind of glad I gave it the time that I did for what I got back and what I was able to invest into uh, my MCOC account. Uh, so look out for that in any kind of future Marvel Caban based game that fails. Like, what happens if, oh, what if Marvel Contest of Champions fails? Then we'll get loads of compensation. Wait, that doesn't work. Then in any case, ha ha ha, funny joke. It wasn't funny. Right, moving on. Uh, it's sticking with the story though, Marvel Realm of Champions. Some players like uh, Newbie, uh, by the way, shout out to Newbie. Um, I'll put a link to Newbie's uh, channel and um, Twitter in the description. My Alliance leader from Marvel Realm uh, got this many units today in MCOC and it's not a Photoshop, 1,900 uh, 190,442. Now, that has been top trumped by uh, Gonzo, Gonzo the Grim. So, shout out to Gonzo. Like, um, there we go, 220,000 units, which is, uh, I think I totaled it out to be um, nearly $8,000. Uh, just a bit less than $8,000 uh, to be exact. And that's just like a mega, mega amount of, um, of like, of units there. For gifting, for gifting, it's going to be mega, absolutely mega. And what you can pick up from that is going to be literally just giving you so many gains. Like, people will be getting rank. If, if Gonzo hasn't played Marvel Contest, then he's just going to be, like, absolutely just ripped, just getting in it. But here's the thing. Like, for, for people that kind of, like, are... And I did say... I did see something where someone was having criticism about, about that in the forums. Just to kind of point out, right, you, you're not getting that amount of units for free for playing the game you had to spend money on the game so those people were probably spent a lot of money on marvel realm of champions yes people spend a lot of money on marvel realm of champions it's hard to think about that but people do if you link both obviously if you link both games and kabam id don't receive it by the end of the day you can contact support team so if you haven't received it hit the support team uh they'll look into it uh you can reach them from the game's home screen blah 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 and uh, but the player said i've been trying to get a hold of kabam since valentine's day about an issue i had with bundles haven't heard anything back in six days so mm, we might have to kind of like uh, watch out with that one uh, maybe kabam support maybe go through like kabam support via marvel contest as opposed to anything and that may be an option but kabam support as we've been doing this new series on a sunday which uh, by the way shout out to people that have sent through some stuff i will be kind of like going through uh, what people have been sent sending me when it comes to like how they've had a bad experience or good experience with kabam support and i want to i want stories of both when kabam support have been good for players and also bad so we can get a nice kind of like um good vibes and uh, you know uh, criticism uh where possible okay what else um yeah just like I, I did see yeah right here like plus uh a, a guy my alliance got 12k units i'm happy for him but the whole package they got seems a bit a little excessive not particularly because you had to play it like i i logged in a lot of hours in marvel realm of champions and it rather than kind of saying it was it wasteful i mean i was a free-to-play player i didn't spend in marvel realm of champions but people did spend and i think more so for them that spent i mean i spent my time in it uh, a lot of hard effort into marvel realm of champions before kabam completely ruined it as they do with a lot of stuff uh, when they have no kind of like idea of what they're doing and they don't kind of like listen to players but then people that spent money Right, then they're not getting anything back from it. And here's the thing with mobile gaming: when mobile game dies, you don't get to transfer that money. You don't get refunded back to you. You know that's that's the main thing with it. Because like those developers, they don't work for free. They have to kind of like things have got to be paid. And uh, Kabam don't go, oh, we'll just absorb the cost into Marvel Contest because then like that's taking money and resource away from Marvel Contest to then supplement um, Marvel Realm. Uh, it's just that's not how the game industry works. Uh, especially because now I'm working in it. Uh, on my other kind of like job uh, it's kind of like it's a big eye opener as to as to the world of um of gaming in any case moving on yeah there's a lot of stuff with this it's, there's so many threads about marvel realm of champions compensation and other stuff people not receiving it as i said go to the support and do that also the store tab that's been something to mention on it if you're un unfamiliar with the, the tab is, you have to. I I, I reset because I can find it, and like when it, when I reset the game, uh, once it was then with the support. Uh, it was then there with the store tab. So once you've done that, just go to the store, which uh, Kabam Miki says about. 
that right there. Well, I think we've got just enough time to do a little bit of art corner. So let's kind of like quickly go over to art corner and see what people have got. It's good that I'm able to have, find a bit of time for this now. Um, I mean, we left off there with the uh, when I, I encounter a bug, which I do like this, by the way. Uh, shout out to, uh, first of all, see this is bugs. Uh, and then the, uh, haha, it's only a game. It's only a game. It's only a game. I love the little R on my belt. But shout out to uh, Calavera. I did retweet this as well. So go and check out Calavera over on Twitter. And I love this. So this is another great one by RS Man X, who does a white vision. So this is the vision, um, Ship of the Theseus uh, kind of thing. It's pretty amazing. I, I love these. Like, check out at RS Man X on Twitter. I know that he posted some stuff on there. There's also another one of me. Uh, there's there's the uh, six star. I love these little animations. It's me chasing a six star. And as I said, thank you very much for kind of like. Uh, uh, that's beautiful. I love that. Thanks to Calavera for that. And another one by RS uh, Man X, which is a US agent. I think we've seen this before. If or if not, I haven't done an art corner since it's been posted. But uh, love that art corner over on the Discord. There's an art corner section to post all your things and all that stuff. Right. Uh, that has been the show. That's been the Friday. There's lots of stuff to drop information-wise. Make sure to come back to the channel later on today, 10 a.m. PST, and uh, you'll see all the good stuff and all the um, you know upcoming doodah what's it's uh, coming with next month's update, as well as maybe reactions to the champions, uh, new champions and whatnot uh, later on today. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.